wasn't able to interrupt with that three frame there, so. Going back to a character select, don't know what happened there. Do we have a banned stage? I no, didn't quite no. See. no, four four kings is definitely allowed. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna see, as we said before, a matchup where Bison is maybe gonna be playing the slightly more defensive role. <coughs> He's just gonna be checking Laura while she tries to get in, get her stuff started. Yeah. So basically we're gonna be seeing problem putting Laura in block stun in mid screen. Um, and it's all about how Mr. Crimson deals with it. It's also gonna be all about how problem deals with Laura's attempts to get in. Nice interruption there. And again, he's preemptively putting out buttons to stop Problem getting that very slow Psycho Axe out. I like that already. And that was close to uh, to the end of round one there, but it was very clutch defense there from Problem X. Keeps him alive, gets the stun bar down. It's going back up though again. Incessant pressure. Wow. And Mr. Crimson. With all the right buttons here, all of the pressure working, Problem X's attempts to interrupt, failing. Just nice footies here, back and forth. Both players just checking each other with buttons. Yeah, just slightly cautious play. We are seeing big buttons being thrown out, yep. but just nothing's connecting right now. Frame advantage. Gets the corner. I definitely want to see how Problem deals with a mobile Mr. Crimson. Right now, he's uh, not really giving him much of a moving target to play with. One more touch. Good tech on the throw. Gets out of the corner, but the trade is all that Problem X wants. He goes for the forward throw because it actually builds more meter than the back throw. The back throw does two hits and he actually builds meter I love stuff off like that. each hit. Nice. So if you know you're gonna kill off the first hit, you always do the forward throw. Nice, gets the crush count, a hard kick there, throwing that out in the neutral. I love that kind of technology, like in third strike, if you kill with a back throw, it can, you can get that fierce DP off and you get the freeze frame. Looks so sick, builds a little bit of meter. Didn't know about that, sir. Yeah, nice. I do hope they bring back um, the subway stage as a classic stage. Oh, it's so nice, right. yeah. They need to do that, man. It's legendary. But speaking of legendary stages, here we are in Suzaku Castle. I can see super guns in the background here for the ST setup, so uh, Celtic Throwdown. Yeah, shout out shout to those guys, to the uh, Grandmaster Challenge crew bringing over the ST setups. Um, can't remember uh, the player who brought over the super gun for third strike, but. It's, that's a lot of work to bring that stuff through airports, you know, just for the love of the community. Oh, definitely, and it's really difficult to, you know, ensure that stuff's going to be in good condition exactly. and, and treated with the respect and reverence it deserves. Yeah. So it is just one of, one of the many things that makes this a community, people just, uh, just doing that work for the love of these sometimes 20-year-old games, you know? 30-year-old games, almost. We've got the anniversary, right? Had a fantastic time playing third strike this weekend. Didn't get to ST, which I was a little bit sad about. I'm gonna try and get some games in at the after party. <laughs> but we've had we've had so many games here on display. It's brilliant. We've had so, we have had so See, many we've small communities. CS:GO in our on the end. I was so CSGO, surprised when yeah. I saw that. Uh, the CS:GO we are guys. are really esports now. Yeah, they're kind of handling their own thing at the tournament. But uh, hopefully next year we'll expand even more games. Try to get as many communities involved as possible. Uh, AJ and Doom have just been great about trying to make this into a community for all gamers in Ireland. Because we haven't really had these kind of gaming events for a long time. As we watch, uh, Problem X being put into the spin cycle here uh, from Mr. Crimson, who's 1-0 up. Here we go. A lot of respect being paid at the start of these rounds. But then a crush counter happens. You're not going to see much respect after this. Goes for the mix-up. Well, that's definitely one of the things a lot of players have been saying they want to see addressed. Um, the risk reward of throwing out crash counter buttons in the yeah. neutral. It's very interesting because in previous Street Fighter games, there was always something that uh, stopped you wanting to throw out heavies as pokes that much. Like in Third Strike, if you got parried, you'd eat a low forward super. Yeah. In Street Fighter 4, if you had a focus attack when you threw out a heavy, you'd eat a full combo into ultra. In this game, you're actually incentivized heavily to use heavies as your pokes yeah. because you get a crush counter. It's very strange in how different it is to previous games. It's very true. Uh, should be able to get the stun here, yep. 
just needs to close it out. The scaling. Oh, the Very last nice. hit. Well worth using the bar. Problem X, a master of meter management. Absolutely. You have to be in this exactly game. Exactly what you needed to get. And cashed it in. As we've seen with the EX bar, which you need for reversals, and the V gauge, which you need for V reversal, that meter management in this game is absolutely vital. Nice using the blast. That light blast is a great pushback tech tool as well. Mm -hmm. Pushback on that is insane. And of course, if you delay your string, then you're going to get hit by that, or trade at least. Straight back into the corner here. Whiffs the grab, and you're going to take insane damage here for that mistake. Uh-oh, the reset. And yeah. that is 2-0 to Mr. Crimson. Now, is Problem X going to be able to come back from 2-0 down? not seen him in that situation yet. We haven't. I mean, I still think he's playing composed here. I think that this is just part of the game when you're playing against characters like Laura. If they get the momentum going, you're just going to lose rounds, you're going to lose games. But it doesn't mean that you're playing incorrectly, you know what I mean? It's just if you're in a mix-up situation, sometimes you're going to guess wrong. So. And it's not like Mr. Crimson is actually playing a, a, a rabid, crazy style. Um, no. He's, he's, he's waiting definitely until he letting off, He's definitely, definitely letting off a lot more uh, command grabs than you would possibly want to do so. Mm -hmm. um, but they're in very good situations, you know, pl plus frame situations. So. Yeah, I mean, literally it was just a slight misspacing the last round for on, the, on that throw. just led into insane damage and a huge like reset. So. not dealing with these jumps as, as uh, effectively as he would want to. That was very nice, Fotis. Nice view reversal. The there we go. Good anti -air. Deeper in the corner. A lot of whiff buttons. Here we go. We're Not going into the loops. Punishes. Frame traps again. Very good at blocking these oh, frame he traps. Gets caught. For problem, it's all about working out where Crimson wants to interrupt, how he's interrupting, and to just react accordingly there. Kept it tight. Kept the pressure up absolutely. That light kick there. into the EX scissors is such a good option because, of course, it cuts out any buttons off of the Psycho Axe. And also, uh, you maintain your frame advantage, uh, plus right. some blocks there, so. Here we go, come on, grab. Can you get anything? Not really. Nice dash. Album's eaten a lot of damage so far. Just all the, it's these kind of hits over and over again. Uh-oh. And we are going to set point, Mr. Crimson. He's the last UK representative here. Celtic Throwdown going to join the rest of the Irish players and watch on as mainland Europe yeah. takes Celtic Throwdown. Luffy, of course, the defending champion, still in winners. He is. Uh, yeah, played incredibly well last year. He's been playing very well this year so far as we've seen as well. It's a pity Reinhardt couldn't make it back this year. We always love having, having him over. and He performed very well at last year's Celtic Throwdown. Hopefully we'll see you, uh, see you soon, Ryan. Wow, and this is so quick. What is going to happen here? Just just keeps the footy option open. Manages to get a mix-up going. He's on death's door here. Gets another mix-up, and he's oh, going to take the game. and he's still in it. He's still in it. He was so brave there. He was one, <laughs> one medium away from death. He stuck out crouch short at hit. He stuck out crouch forward at hit and he managed to confirm into the v-trigger into a bunch of mix-ups wow unbelievable that time comeback the word was clutch yeah very nice reversal command grab there confident i'm not sure if that's a punish it couldn't couldn't be could it here we go all right problem getting some momentum going now gets a back grab there into the meaty he's throwing out these swipes there we go nice damage Oh, and into the stun, and suddenly Problem X looks unstoppable in this match. What Being on earth has happened in the last three rounds? One hit away from elimination there. Suddenly, he's making it look free for the last round and a half. Problem looking to whiff punish a little bit late with a hard punch. Nice cross. Cross under blocked is very difficult to do in this game. Well, you've got delay on your block. Exactly, so, yeah. <laughs> you don't block first frame. We don't block first frame in any game. But, uh, yeah, it's tough because it's more of a guess. It's harder to, yeah. to leave it to the last second and try and react. You basically have to commit to your block earlier than you would in other games. 
Problem X getting caught backdashing almost every other time here. The crush counters are coming thick and fast, but he's got a big life lead. Yeah, wakes up with the standing standing light there, and it pays off big time. One more hit, and, and he, he does takes it. it, and he's bringing it back to a piece. Problem X is still in the game. That answers the question. These I backdashes mean, are not costing him that much. No, clearly. The stun must be racking up. The damage is racking up here for Mr. Crimson, but he's not able to turn it into wins, which is the most important thing. This is, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you get in these situations where you get someone so low in this game, but you still have to get another clean hit to finish things off. And uh, it just allows for the possibility, especially with these V-Triggers, strong V-Trigger characters, of just making these comebacks. And Problem X is just showing exactly how to do it here. Interrupting the command dash there. The momentum has swung round again. Great Crimson strength. respecting the frames and problems mixing it up so well between completely illegitimate frame traps with <laughs> massive gaps and then keeping it ironclad tight with the light kick into the into the psycho blast. But here we go, he activates good tech. Command grab, what do we got? We're going for a meeting. Goes for a command grab, nice Double back dash. dashes. And problem X will still Oh! He catches him! That That's was it. sick. Going that from, was uh, sick. Going from the point of elimination to being a roundup and on match point here is a pretty good feeling for Problem X. <coughs> Tags him out of the air there with the scissor kick. Gets a little bit going. He's pushing him towards the corner. Nice pressure. Gets the frame advantage. Does take a hit here though. Backdashes the command grab again. He's just decided he's backdashing that every time until he gets punished, I think. Yeah, well, he's been punished, but not enough, to be honest with you. And he's one touch away from stun. Looking for that throw bait. And here's Problem the X looking to close it out, but he's in the corner now. He gets the trades. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to see? reset. And again, Mr. Crimson will not stop going for that command grab. And he dies for it. Three straight from Problem X. And the C word is clutch. Such composure, guys. Such composure we see from Problem X. We have uh, have some announcements here going on just before the final. Oh, he's just letting everyone know where the after party is. If you're in the uh, Dublin area, the after party is in the residence bar downstairs. Head on down, guys. You've got to have a wristband, though, I'd imagine. Get into that. Well, I'm, I imagine if anyone wants to come down, we can sort you guys out. Give us a tweet if you're interested, guys. Yeah. yeah. If you're in the area, tuned in randomly at home. We're going to have some nice matches on later. If you're at so. home watching on Twitch and you're not here. Dublin's a small city, man. No matter where you live in Dublin, if you're if you're anywhere why, within Why would you be city? at home watching? I know, right? If you live in Dublin, why would you not be here? There are a couple here of we go. There are a couple of names I could I could shout out on uh, on stream who are at home who could be here tonight, but I won't do that. I'll, uh, blow, I'll them blow them up, up. right now. We have got I'm, 5 minutes. I'm too polite. Blow them up. Now, we do have uh, in all seriousness some great players that couldn't make it, some yeah. some absolute top players that uh that just can't make it to that many events anymore and it's a pity because there are really really strong irish street fighter players yeah that we don't really get to see represent on the <coughs> european stage too much who easily could um so shout outs shout outs to all those guys they shout know, outs who, they to know shout who they outs are each and every time yeah so here we go uh we are into uh winners final last year's champion luffy player two phenom on the player one side so uh phenom of course one of the most informed players in Europe, as always. Oh, yeah. Great season one, Street Fighter Five. Has had a good season two as well. I think he's the highest ranked player in Europe on the Capcom Pro Tour leaderboards. Really, really well traveled, so. Uh, it's a good place to be. This is definitely some of the cream of the crop you hear in Europe. Of course, in a tournament that has featured Infiltration and Daigo, they are no longer in. Daigo didn't even make, I think Daigo made top 16. He didn't make it out of pools, no. Um, it's unbelievable, not only for me, that uh, that Daigo was at an Irish event, yeah. because like running events, you know, seven, eight years ago, and if you told me Daigo would be at an Irish tournament, I would have laughed in your face, yeah. honestly. But he's here, and the fact that like we have an Irish tournament bigger, big enough and stacked enough that Daigo doesn't make it out of pools yeah. is insane. It, it shows the growth of this community, the hard work that all these guys have put in to make these events big, to make these great players want to come from overseas to Irish tournaments. And uh, yeah. I don't know.